And for Saunders outside the state capitol, a bill combating AI's use in political ads steadily making progress through the Florida legislature. Here's what it would do. Whether it's robocalls like this one faking the voice of President Joe Biden. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. Or campaign ads featuring a faux soundbite from the former president. I opened up the governor position for Kim Reynolds, in which she fell behind. I endorsed her. It's clear AI is already getting used to influence voters. Even Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis got in on it with this ad from his 2024 presidential campaign. It shows fake pictures of Donald Trump embracing and kissing Dr. Anthony Fauci. Every time he goes on television, there's always a bomb, but there's a bigger bomb if you fire him. Social media site X flagged the post with a note that AI is being used, but Florida lawmakers want to go further. All right, by your vote, we will report that bill favorably. They're advancing bills that would require political ads to have a disclaimer if they feature AI-made images, video, audio, or text showing something that didn't happen. You know, this is a brave new world. Rep. Alex Rizzo is carrying the bill in the House. His current version has an effective date of July, with violators of the disclosure rule getting reported to the State Elections Committee under threat of civil fines. The Senate version upgrades those violations to a first-degree misdemeanor. We as a government, we as, as, as people, just need to take a real look at what is acceptable, uh, what can we do to put in some guardrails so that it isn't as misleading uh, or misrepresenting as, as a nefarious party might want. The two bills have to be identical to reach the governor, though the concept in general is getting bipartisan support. Artificial intelligence is here. It's here to stay. And we have to be thoughtful and intentional about how we deal with it. Supporters say to expect more changes as the legislation continues to move through the chambers. Things like regulating how large and apparent those disclaimers need to be. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. That's as AI fakes continue to take center stage in the 2024 election cycle. And of course, if this legislation is going to become law, it's going to need Governor Ron DeSantis' signature as well. And to date, he has yet to offer an opinion. That's the latest out here at the State Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.